Just when you thought there was nothing more to learn about Excel, you're going to learn this. What we're going to do is look at the wrap rows feature, get the function right. So what does that mean? Well, basically I can take a massive column here and then put it into different rows here like so. So this is great. I've got an example here of making a calendar. So I've got a date here. Okay, and then I've got this date here. I think the day that I've got is wrong starting here. So I think the first one is going to be the second. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we can work that one out. So what do I do? So what I need to do is get a list of dates, extract the date or the day of the month from that, and then I can pop that into a wrap calls. Let's show how I do that. Let's swap to another Excel uh, spreadsheet. We're going to type in dates. And in this date here, I'm going to type in the first of the first 2022. Yep, and then I'm going to autofill that one all the way down. Uh, let's just go all the way down to, say, 31. There we go. So that's to the 31st. Next thing I need to know is what day is that? So I can use a nice function called text, T-E-X-T, -T, open bracket. Click on the date that I want to extract the day off, and then I can type in two Ds for the day OK, I'm going to hold down control and press enter and you can see it's brought up zero one as the day. Let me double click on the autofill modifier so it goes all the way down to the bottom. Or I've got a list of days. So now I want these days to go all the way across. So if I click at the top here on F2, for instance, I type equals wrap rows open bracket. Now, the vector in this instance here is the day. So I start off at B2. Control, shift, and the down arrow to select all the way to the bottom. Type in a comma. Excellent. Next thing is the wrap count. So how many columns do I want to go across? I'm going to type in seven, seven days of the week, then a comma. And this last one, this pad width one, is a little bit cryptic. But basically, if it hasn't uh, got a value where it can't match up a value with a column, then it, what value do I want to put in? Well, I want to put a blank in. So I put two double quotation marks and close off the bracket. I press enter and you can see I've got all of these just appearing here. Job done. See you next time.